Hey everybody, welcome back. This is The Daily Burn, the war room of the political revolution. Come on in, we're going to have an inspirational show. We gather here every day, uh, those of us fighting in this political revolution, and inspire each other and share inspirational stories. That's what this show is for. So come on in, please like and share. Get this out to as many people as you can. We have to be the media. Independent little shows like this depend on people like you. So everything you do to participate in the show helps the show show up better in the Facebook algorithm. Algorithm. So comment, all of that. And I love reading your comments, so they're for me just as much. But this is a daily inspirational show for those of us who are fighting in this political revolution and trying to transform our government into one for the people. I felt like we could use a place to gather and focus on the positives, a place to inspire each other moving forward in this fight. I also felt that there needed to be a voice in all of the negativity out there pushing us forward towards victory. We already know this is going to be a hard fight. We know what we're up against. We've been through this before. You know, and they say we're just dreamers, that we have pie in the sky ideas, but that isn't true. For the most part, we are realists, and that is why we're in this fight to begin with. Because we know how bad things are, and we see where this greed-driven system is going to take us. We understand that things need to change, and we understand that the only way to create real change is when millions of people stand united and demand it. And that is happening right now. And I include a link in the description of Every Daily Burn to BernieSanders.com. Please go there and see if there's any way that you can help the campaign by becoming one of the more than 2 million of us that are volunteering to help Bernie get elected president or donate to the campaign. It takes an obscene amount of money to run for president. So if you can donate, please do. Any amount would be great. Um, one homework assignment that I'm going to give you while you're at BernieSanders.com, exploring all the great ways to volunteer, which there are many more than you might think. And and uh, donating, go ahead and get yourself a bumper sticker. I want everyone to get a bumper sticker. The campaign is asking that we all get bumper stickers, but I think it's, I'm, I'm, I'm grabbing onto this and asking everyone to do it too, because it's a great way to show support. It's real easy. And you're, you're showing support just by driving around like normal. And people need to see that support. We need to be inspirational to people. We need to show them the power of our movement. So demonstrate it by getting a bumper sticker. It's an easy way to do it. And these are high quality bumper stickers. I have one on my car and it is the first and only bumper sticker that I have ever put on my car. Uh, they're vinyl. The I hope I'm saying that right. I really don't know. But they're not the paper kind. They're just going to be terrible to take off. These are high quality. Union made like everything else in the burning organization. They're union made bumper stickers. And... Um, just get one. Put it on your car. Go ahead and do it. Do it for me. Do all that you can. When enough of us own this and do all that we can to win, we can't lose. That's a fact. I'm not lying to you. Bernie isn't lying to you. We can do this. We're going to do this. And we've got to believe that. They will try to break your spirit. and You can't let them. Don't let anyone keep you from your goals. Don't listen to the negative people and the naysayers. They are weak. Don't listen to the mainstream media. They are liars. Nothing more than weaponized propaganda delivered by overpaid talking heads. Rise above all that negativity. Remove it from your existence as much as possible. The mainstream media for sure. You'll instantly feel better if you stop watching that garbage. Take in positivity as much as you can. Focus on winning, accomplishing our goals. Make yourself believe that you are unstoppable. This, like most things, is mostly mental. And we need to inspire others, and no one is going to believe if we don't. Believe it. Say it over and over until you have ingrained it into your soul. We're going to win. We're going to win. We're going to win. I'm telling you that when enough of us believe in this fight and devote ourselves to it, 
we will be unstoppable. The potential is here for something great, and we're a part of it. This is an exciting time. So get out there and do all you can, and we are going to win. Not Bernie. Us. And welcome back, and uh, thanks for coming, everybody that's here. Um, this is the second day that we've been trying something new. Many of you know that since we started these little daily burns about two months ago, that I have been plagued with technical difficulties, freezing video, feeds crashing, etc. Now I've tried many things to fix the problems, but what it comes down to is my computer is just too old and outdated to handle it. I, uh, it won't even recognize the higher bandwidth feed. I paid extra through my provider to get the highest quality internet pro uh, connection that I could. And my computer is so old, it won't even connect to that line. So what it comes down to is I need a new computer. And until I can get a new computer and get back to doing these live, I thought of this to keep the message, to keep getting the message out because I can't quit. I got to keep going. And to me, this message is the most important part of this show. And I wanted the message to get out in full. So we are pre-recording them. And I know some people are disappointed, but most of the views of this show happened well after it aired live. Only a few people ever caught us live and a solid uninterrupted show seems like it had had more value than a live one. But for the burners who are here for the live showing, I am here right now watching with you. That's kind of cool, right? We can watch these burns together for a little while and talk here in the comments while I save up for a new laptop. So even if you're here later on, please participate in the show. Any interaction, like I said, helps us do better in Facebook's little algorithm and get out to more viewers. But real quickly, let's go into Bernie events. The campaign isn't actively traveling right now but their focus is mainly on New Hampshire. They recently opened six offices in New Hampshire and they have 45 uh, political activists on the ground working in, actively in New Hampshire, um, setting up different things in that state and getting ready for, for that, which is a very big early primary state. Bernie has also announced, <laughs> this is great, a list of an anti-endorsement list a list of people he does not want endorsements from, will not be seeking endorsements from, and doesn't care about their opinion of him. Now, these are mostly people, these are, I think it's 12 billionaires and one think tank group, but these are all people that have, you know, put Bernie's ideas down for years, so they're all your common enemies, and uh, I like it because it, it puts it right out there. So these are like the 12 people that are probably doing the most damage anyway. But he put a list out. I don't want your uh, endorsement. I don't want your money. I don't want your support. And uh, I think that's cool. And let's see. As far as touring that goes, the campaign uh, last week was in Vegas. And the week before that was in Iowa. And they had 13 total events in those two little tours. So uh, they opened, I think, three offices in Iowa and one in Vegas. So we're opening campaign offices all around the country and this is just going fantastic. We are killing it. We are dominating and we are allowing our candidate to run at a front runner level. We should be very proud of ourselves. We've, we've accomplished a lot. We really have. And we are doing awesome. The media is never going to show you that. So that's why I wanted to be that voice. I wanted there to be something out there that was reminding us as we move forward, because this is a long fight, we're going to be in this fight for a long time. And we have to stay focused the entire time. And it, I just felt like this would be a good way and a place for that message to get out that we are winning. A um, couple other ways to stay involved and stay, um, not involved, connected with uh, the campaign is to get the Burn app. Uh, download the Burn app. That will keep you connected with the campaign. Another way to do it and to get text messages from really cool volunteers like me who do the texting service is to sign up for the texting um, below the texting service of the campaign. You text Bernie, the word Bernie, to 67760 
and that'll get you in the texting service and volunteers like me will text out events and things in your area when they're when they're going to be in your area and also news and and stuff about the campaign so it's a really cool way to stay informed those are a couple cool ways to stay informed with the campaign and the revolution and keep up on what's going on but uh let's go into know your enemy real quick know your enemy is a segment that i do on every daily burn where we go through the mainstream media uh, the hot garbage pit that is the mainstream media and see what, if anything, is relevant to us and what we'll be dealing with moving forward or what we're currently dealing with right now so that we're up on at least the talking points of these brainwashed sheep when we deal with them. But what I saw today um, as I was going through was mostly just a lot of fear of Trump, mostly centered around ICE and these planned ICE raids. So... Um, they're always going to be building up their boogeyman. That's all that stuff is. You know, this stuff all went on, sadly, unfortunately, but it all went on under Obama. It was just never focused on like it is now. And they're doing that to build him up as a boogeyman. They're blaming everything on Donald Trump when everything is clearly not his fault. I am no fan of Donald Trump. I hate when I have to defend that man. But they have created and are painting him as, as literally Hitler. And that is just not true. It's just not true. I, he's a selfish, narcissist, terrible man. Uh, I don't think he's even a good father. I don't see very many redeeming qualities about the man. I am not in his corner. But he is not the boogeyman the media is painting him up as. They just plan on running on a platform where they have nothing to offer you other than we are not the scary orange man. So they need you to be terrified of the scary orange man. But um, media silence on Bernie Sanders, almost 100%. The only place where there wasn't media silence was CNN. They had a couple pieces blasting Bernie. One wasn't even a piece. It was just a heavily featured blurb on their main page that just talked about how, you know, at one point Bernie said the Democratic Party couldn't be reformed. Now he's trying to be its leader. Yeah, it needs to be changed and reformed. He didn't say he wanted to take over and keep doing things the way they've always done it. He said he needed to make massive change and we need to make massive change. These people drive me crazy. Anyways, they have, CNN has a featured hit piece right now uh, titled, How Trump Could Win in 2020 If the Democrats Nominate a Too Liberal Candidate. And I read the article. They won't even say his name. <laughs> they won't even say it. They won't even say. They want to title the piece, How Trump Could Win in 2020 If the Democrats Nominate Bernie Sanders. That's what they want to say. That's what the whole article is about. But they do everything but say that. They just don't even want to say his name unless it's in a negative light. And currently their fake bullshit polls show Biden in number one with Harris now in number two. They have Warren in number three and Bernie dropping. He's down a point uh, to number four in their bullshit polls. And that's the propaganda that we're currently dealing with from the mainstream media. Um, I want to expand Know Your Enemy a little bit. Uh, I've been talking about evolving Know Your Enemy. And I think I need to focus more on social media. I feel like Know Your Enemy needs to involve, to include more of social media. Because social media has become a very large part of daily life. And people have the ability to influence millions of people right from their very own living room. It's pretty amazing when you think about it. That is a very powerful tool. Companies realize this. Marketing experts realize this. And we need to realize this. What we do here on social media is powerful. Social media is in some ways surpassing the mainstream media for the source of people's information. And people like to be liked. We're herd animals. We follow what's cool and what is popular. And we follow trends. We need to look at social media as the tool that it is and utilize it to its fullest extent. We also need to address the elephant in this social media room. These people who have amassed huge followings, spreading the message that voting is stupid, 
that participating in the election process at all is in itself condoning the evil in this world, which makes literally no sense. They spend all day telling people to quit, to lay down, to give up. They preach that it's too hard, that we can't win. It's too rigged. It's too corrupted. The system's just too powerful to fight. You see, they like this theory. This theory is comfortable for them. This theory that it is impossible and that we can't fight it because if, if we can't fight it, we can't possibly be responsible for it. So that absolves them of feeling guilty and they can quit they can stop fighting which is hard it takes a lot of energy just it's an uphill fight you're depending on millions of people uniting millions of people standing together you can easily manage yourself but we're depending on millions this is big this is going to be hard and they want to quit and this allows them to not feel guilty about quitting. And these people gather and feed that belief and it becomes a never ending circle. Now, they've already quit. These people have already quit. It's unfortunate because most of them are woke. Most of them are aware. They know that there's problems in the world. They understand how bad things are, but they've quit. Right now, they're going on and on and on about how the DNC is just going to rig it. You know, they're mocking us. Throw your money away on Bernie, fools. The DNC will just take it. Right now, they're talking amongst themselves, deciding who the DNC is going to crown when they rig it. Mass consensus right now seems to be Harris, by the way. They think that we're crazy. They mock us. They pity us, even. And I just want to scream at them. They make me very, very mad. They, they really frustrate me a lot. No one gives us this. We take it. We're not asking politely. That time is done. It's time to fight right now. A better plan isn't coming along. And you can be damn sure that these quitters and dissenters don't have one. They never do. We can't keep waiting around for some hero that is never coming or for it to become easy because it's never going to be. It's only going to get harder. The predator class will entrench their power hold even deeper and fight us as hard as they can. They don't like us upright and fighting. They like us quiet, dumb, and docile. Well, those days are done. We're coming for our country. We're coming to fix this broken society that you have designed to cripple us with your greed because we've grown tired of it and it needs to come to an end. We understand that and we're going to do all we can to win. That's why we're going to win. We are absolutely going to win know that believe it own it the more of us that believe and own that and do all we can that alone is going to inspire more this is going to snowball into something that cannot be ignored they will try to rig this of course they will they already are you understand you know This isn't about being naive. It's about believing in something. Believing in something bigger than yourself. Believing in a possibility that is realistic. The only thing stopping it from being realistic is that you're defeated. You've been trained to lay down. Stand up. That's all you got to do. 1% controls 99% of the resources and the wealth and the power. 1%. And really, it's a handful of 1%. We don't have to stand for this anymore is the basic point. 
and millions of us understand that and they're going to move forward united and we're going to make chem change we're going to make drastic change and people are going to kick and scream the establishment powers that be predator class of course is going to kick and scream but your average person your average brainwashed sheep those that we aren't able to wake up they're terrified of change they've been conditioned to fear it they've also been trained to believe that they're worth less than they actually are so we have a lot of work to do we have a lot of people to wake up we have a lot of people to inform this is a long fight so let's do all we can let's win this let's keep going we are killing it we are literally killing it thank you guys for watching this has been the daily burn we do this every day I will see you again tomorrow for another episode uh, thank you if you shared commented and liked that all helped us you guys rock and we'll see you tomorrow